Hello, everybody. Um, so today we're going to be talking about um, characterization and um, developing that character with a setting as well. So I'm really excited to talk about this because this is the fun part of Interm to me. Um, really getting into the nuances of performance and how to portray someone else's story um, is very fascinating. Okay, so first we're going to talk about characterization um, overall versus that of character development, and then we'll go into the differences in events. So character development is something that we're going to utilize more in DI because you're going to really get in to that person's mind and little nuances of how they're thinking. Um, whereas in HI, you're focusing more on like your body and your voice and being super loud and more like not focused on necessarily their struggles and stuff like that, but you can get into that development as well because that will focus on um, the nuances and characterization um, goes with DI as well on how does your character stand and move? What's their voice like? What's their opinion on their mom? Stuff like that. Um, we'll get into that more later. So um, characters and humor are very over-exaggerated over -exaggerated, um, and focused on big movements and same in Poi because you want to be able to have a very clear distinction on who is who. Um, in Poi, you'll have poetry and prose and different articles. So you don't want your article character to sound the same as your poetry character, because we, we as the audience need to know uh, that even though they're going to one cohesive argument, there's still different sides to that story. And we'll get into more Poi examples in um, another lecture. So characters in humor um, and Poi do need to be very uh, different so we can see those uh, nuanced differences and different perspectives. Um, so in single character pieces, whether that be in poetry, prose, or DI, um, they're more personal based and they focus on the arc um, as a character rather than HI as a story and Poi as an argument. We talked about that in the um, last lecture as well. And if you have questions on that, um, please feel free to ask. Um, so if you're doing a movie as your script, really look at the character in the movie and see if you want to portray it more like that or do it completely differently. You have um, that liberty. And even if it's in a book or a play that you haven't seen, focus on the little things like these um, five point questions here. Think about the small details that really um, make your character, if they have a little tick that they do if they rub their hands when they're anxious or um, if they blink a lot or why is their voice soft? Is there a history of abuse in that relationship? Think about those little things. Um, and I have plenty of more questions that you can get into um, if you want more questions to kind of think about. And so Getting personal here is just like little questions that you should know about your character. It seems kind of silly, but it really helps me when developing my character. Um, so think about all of these questions here and um, even questions like what is their relationship with their parents, even if, especially if the parent is not involved at all in the script, you can still make up your own um, sort of extended storyline for them that will really help. Um, the more you know about the character can only help you because you have a short amount of time to really show the narrative that you um, want to portray there. So going a bit more personal, this is something that we're definitely, y'all can ask plenty of questions on. Um, emotional recall, I just kind of wanted to mention it briefly. This is where you take your own experience um, in your own life and relate it to that of your character. Um, make sure it's not trauma that 
um, is something that is triggering for you because we don't want that. You want to feel comfortable and um, make sure to perform scars, not wounds. That's something that we kind of focus on. Um, performing something that is healed and that is contributed to your growth, not something that you're actively um, going through. Um, but you can also do something um, really simple like eating Oreos. Like if your character is eating something and like Oreos is your favorite food, think about like how you feel doing that and how your character would feel. Like something simple like that, just relating uh, your own experience. It doesn't always uh, have to be about trauma or anything like that. Um, okay, so that's more with character development and getting really into your character's mind. Um, then we're gonna go on to setting and then talk a little bit more about characterization. So um, where do you see your character? Establish a tangible space. I love to um, draw out a space, even if, like, um, you know, since we're gonna be doing online, you'll be performing like in your room or your living room. Make sure the space that your character is in is not just your room or your living room. And even if it is a living room for whatever reason, make it different than yours. What is different about it? Draw it out. I love doing that. I can help you guys um, if y'all want to do a little lecture about drawing plot structures or drawing a space um, or a Zoom call about that. Um, I would love to help you guys with that and so would any of your other officers. Um, but you really have to sell it in a way. Why you're here, what this space means to you, what shift is taking place here? What's around you? You know, if you're a librarian or something, are you going to take, is this going to take place in a library or is it going to take place outside of the library, right? What does that shift instantly do? You know, what does that mean? Is she moving out of the library? What does that shift, um, if that makes sense? And also you don't have to do use the given setting that is in the movie or play, as long as it's not something like, if you're doing like Mean Girls, don't do a Mean Girls like on outer space or something. Just do like um, a setting that would make sense with the um, given text. And some other extras um, is, right. So like you don't have to do something that is your exact narrative. In fact, I encourage you not to do something that is who you are, because it's really easy to get trapped in that, but something that you relate to, something that, whether it's your sexuality, race, ethnicity, gender, if there's something that you have, that connection with your character that's really beautiful to kind of get inside, it makes it a little bit easier to relate to their experiences. If you're playing a woman who is struggling in a relationship or dealt with something, a woman doing that you, even if you haven't experienced that abuse, you could still relate to being abused by like the system and like the patriarchy and stuff like that. So relating to those things. Um, and sorry about that. You don't have to personally have to tell us like, I relate to this for this reason. You don't have to out yourself or anything like that. If that's something you're not comfortable with, um, We'll talk more about agency later um, with the entire team, but as long as you relate to it in some way, and if you would like to share with us, we'd be more than happy to listen, but it's not something that you um, have to share if you're not comfortable with that. Um, on to characterization. So like I was saying with um, voice and body, more like in HI, you do this thing called popping. Um, where your feet kind of pop in and out to like do different characters. So like if I'm one character here, then I'm one character here. And I'm like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. Like, it's like kind of like that, you know? But I can do um, more, go more into depth than that when we talk about the actual events. But, um, and we're more than happy to help once you have a script selected, um, to add more information to this lecture, I have plenty of more information to talk about with you guys um, and kind of just continue um, our discussion on that.
So that's basically it. I will share the stock with you guys as well. And if you have any questions, um, please let me know. All right.